Hi, this is Mike Volpe from HubSpot, and I'm here to talk about how to advertise on Facebook using pay-per-click ads. All right, so uh, here we are, and you'll see that I've gone to facebook.com slash advertising. And right now, you'll see a couple things. One is we're on this Facebook ad screen. You can either get started or manage your existing ads. And I'm getting that link because I'm already uh, logged in. So you see here I'm logged in, and you can see I've got 57 online friends, etc. But I'm going to go ahead and click on this getting started, this get started link. And that's going to bring us over to um, this advertising screen. And this is the screen where you set up a new ad on Facebook. And you'll first see this getting started section. Um, and what you'll notice here is, is a few things. You can advertise a web page, you can advertise something on Facebook, or you can copy one of your existing ads. And so I'm going to assume that um, we're going to go ahead and advertise something out on the web, but you'll notice that if I do click on this link of advertising something on Facebook, I can choose a bunch of other things. You'll see a couple groups here that I'm a, an admin of these groups, so I can advertise those, and I'm also an admin of the HubSpot page on Facebook, so I can advertise that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to advertise a website, and the website I'm going to advertise is Website Grader, uh, which is a great free tool that we created here at HubSpot to evaluate your website. So, all right, so I've got that section taken care of, and now I'm going to go ahead and create my ad. And you notice the title here is 25 characters, um, and you'll notice a couple links here too. There's this common mistakes, common reasons for rejection. And I'm actually going to go ahead and open that up uh, and take a quick look at that because Facebook actually does reject a good number of ads. I've had a number of ads um, rejected. Um, and really the big mistakes people make are on this list right here. So capitalize, capitalizing entire words or every single word uh, or even um, other things like even incorrect grammar spelling and too much slang and things like that. Like it's surprising for a network like Facebook that they're so strict about their ads. Um, but they, they really are, even incorrect punctuation and things like that or any kind of like, you know, um, slang sort of text message sort of things. It's just really, really surprising. So if you look down at some of these examples, um, you know, so down here in this one, they're, they're capitalizing a lot of the words. Here they're capitalizing all the words. Here they're using lowercase in order to stand out. So really, um, they kind of want relatively standard things. And, you know, that's just one of the things that you have to do if you're going to advertise on Facebook. So now that we've got it, I'm going to, um, all right, so I'm going to do grade your website. And you can capitalize things in the titles. Uh, really, it's in the body where they don't like um, things like that. So, um, you correctly. All right. Now, the other thing, uh, and so great. So now you can see it's starting to build my ad over here on the right. And what I'll point out that's really, really important is adding an image to your ad. And the reason that you do this is that the click through rate on Facebook ads is really, really low. And so, a big thing that you get that's a benefit because that click through rate is so low are all the displays and all the views of the ads that you get that don't actually get a click and in order to maximize the branding impact of that I really recommend that you put your logo here so I'm gonna go ahead and add the HubSpot logo to this ad and you'll see now here it is and what's great about this is you know the click through rate on Facebook ads is anywhere, anywhere from sort of 0.01% to 0 0.03 or 0 0.04, maybe 0 0.5 percent. So you're talking about sort of you know one in you know five or five thousand people that's going to click on your ad. So the other 400, 4,999 times people are seeing your logo, and you basically get that for free, which is great. Now this social actions uh, checkbox, I'm actually going to go ahead and click that. And the reason I'm going to click that is that um, what this is going to do is add social actions to my ad. And what social actions are is it will put information here um, that's relevant to the person that the ad is being displayed to. So right now, if you look, I'm going to check off HubSpot, and it's showing me that that page has 992 fans. And so what that means is if this ad is displayed to someone, and they're friends with someone who is a fan of HubSpot, it's going to tell them when that ad is displayed with a little picture of their friend hey, your friend is a fan of HubSpot, and it's a way to draw more attention to your ad. It's free, um, and it helps the click-through rate and things like that. So it's definitely a good idea if you have something on Facebook that you can attribute it to, um, to, to use social actions. I'm a big fan of that. All right, so right now, here's where the targeting comes in. This is really important. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do this just for people in the United States, all over the United States, but you could target locally by state or by city if you wanted to. I'm going to say it's for both men and women. 
and I'm going to say for me, I sell to businesses, so I'm going to put people 21 and older because I'm going to try to target people that have graduated from college already. And then now you see right now, this is targeting currently 21 million people. But that's clearly too broad of an audience for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find people that are relevant to what I do. And so HubSpot sells mostly to marketing people and small business owners. And so I'm going to go ahead and just, I just started to type the word marketing and it started to bring up all these suggestions for me. So I'm going to go ahead and um, add marketing assistant. I'm going to add um, marketing manager. And you kind of need to just retype every time here, marketing coordinator, um, just uh, marketing, just marketing, marketing director, you know, marketing executive, marketing and sales, marketing specialist, what else we got here, marketing associates, marketing consultants, all right, and then I'm going to try some other things, I'm going to try SEO, which I didn't find, search engine, which I didn't find, okay, maybe website, website design, that's a good one for me, um, maybe internet, so, yeah, okay, just internet in general, not people surfing the internet, it's not really what I want. Um, all right, maybe something like lead generation. No, that didn't really find anything. All right, so this seems like a pretty good list, and I could play around with this more. But now you see that my ad is targeted to just 71,000 people. And what's great about that is I'm really, really honing in on exactly the audience that I want. Uh, and I could play around with this a little bit more and try to add some more people to it, but this seems like a pretty well-targeted list for the audience I'm trying to go after. Great, so now I'm going to go down to this price your ad section. And um, I've got a few campaigns here, but I'm actually going to set up a new campaign, and I'm going to call this uh, Website Grader. Um, and so if this is your first time, you'll have to set up a campaign, but you, I just set up a new one there, so this is going to fall under that campaign website grader. Now, you can either pay for clicks or pay for views. If you want to pay for view, pay per views, um, you can set a budget and a bid, and you're bidding on how much you'll pay per impression. Um, but I would highly, highly recommend that everyone pays per click, and the reason for that is the pay-per-click rates on Facebook are still relatively low, and you can get all those free impressions that we talked about earlier. So for my daily budget, I'm going to go ahead and set this for $50 a day. And my max bid, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that, all right, I'll pay up to $1.50 for each of these clicks. Um, and all right, and then I just need to choose if I want to run, run it only during specified dates or run it continuously starting today. Now what you'll see about the specified dates is it's not like uh, Google AdWords where you can actually run it at certain times of the day or certain days of the week. This is only like if you had a specific event that you were maybe advertising and you wanted to stop advertising it on the day or the day before the event, um, you would use this. But it doesn't really allow any day parting or week parting. So in my case, website grader is always up. So I'm going to go ahead and just run my ad continuously starting today. So I'm going to click continue. And, all right, um, add name, grade your website, great, da da da, accuracy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place my order. I think it has my credit card information on file because I've done with advertising on Facebook, but if not, it would um, ask you for your credit card information. Uh, but I think most of you can figure out how to put in credit card information online. And great, so the ad grade your website was created. Now, what you'll see here is it's under this status of pending review relatively quickly I've seen it done and usually within a few hours um, Facebook actually does manually review your ad and they'll tell you if it was approved or not if it gets disapproved they'll tell you why uh, and then what's really cool about that is uh, once the ad starts running on this ads manager section they show you a bunch of stats so you can see for a whole bunch of ads here uh, for like some of these um, uh, ads in this other campaign I have you know, for here I'm paying like $3 a click, I have a whole bunch of impressions, it tells you the click-through rate, the number of clicks, your average cost per click, things like that. So you can get a whole bunch of data here um, about how your campaigns are doing and once this ad gets approved, that'll be there. I hope you all enjoyed the video about advertising on Facebook. Be sure to check us out at HubSpot.com.